Hi everyone, let's talk today about uh, subsurface scattering. So the subsurface scattering is the effect you see on the left side of the leaves uh, when the light is passing through a translucent medium and uh, medium and it is scattered around. Uh, it is most commonly used for uh, vegetation, skin or some translucent plastics. In Unity, there are a few approaches for the subsurface scattering. Uh, in, in the built-in render pipeline and in URP, you will find uh, transmission and translucency. The transmission is more simpler, the translucency uh, is transmission with some more settings. And in HDRP, you will find uh, transmission and subsurface scattering, which is a bit more advanced. Uh, but in this case, a diffusion profile is used. I want to keep uh, things consistent between the render pipelines, uh, between the forward shaders and the deferred shaders. The vegetation engine is using a hybrid approach. Uh, it is using a transmission model plus some extra settings which are similar to the translucency settings. And in HDRP it is using a transmission model uh, plus a diffusion profile plus those extra settings. All right. Let's look at the subsurface settings. So first of all, we have the intensity and by lowering it, you can already see uh, how much of a, of a difference the subsurface effect uh, it makes. The second one is the subsurface tinting and the third one is the subsurface mask uh, remapping. The subsurface mask in uh, TV is stored in the main mask uh, blue channel and it is telling the leaves uh, how much light is passing uh, through that leaf. In some instances, uh, you will find uh, that a thickness map is used instead. Uh, the, th the thickness map is the same as the subsurface map, but it is inverted. So if I drag this uh, TV mask, which is using a thickness, uh, the effect is inverted. So what you can do in these cases is to uh, simply go to the subsurface mask and instead of remap, choose invert. And now we have uh, the same effect applied. Next three settings add a fake subsurface scattering effect over the existing subsurface uh, model and it is only visible when you look uh, at the sun. So if I boost the subsurface scattering intensity, you can see this uh, subsurface boosting, but if I look away from the sun, the effect is fading out. So it is only used to add uh, this uh, subsurface boosting effect when you look at the sun. Uh, and by using the subsurface scattering angle, you can control uh, how fast uh, this, uh, this effect is uh, fading out. If I set it to zero, it will be always on. Uh, the subsurface uh, normal uh, is used to add some more detail to this subsurface effect because it is uh, masking out the leaves that are uh, not perpendicular to the uh, light direction. Uh, this effect was added uh, in order to be able to add uh, subsurface scattering to the uh, default shaders because in the default rendering path uh, you cannot have uh, custom lighting models uh, so this effect is added uh, on top of the albedo. Alright, uh, let's look at the differences between the subsurface lit shaders which are using a proper uh, subsurface effect uh, but they are always rendered in the forward path compared to the uh, standard lit shaders which are supporting the default rendering path. If I move this object around, as you can see for the first one, the subsurface effect is nicely occluded by uh, the shadow, but for the first, uh, for the, the uh, standard lit one, uh, it is not. That's because in the default path we cannot uh, uh, have custom lighting and this effect is just added on top. So one way uh, we can fix it or we can uh, get around this issue is to set the render normals to uh, same and uh, reduce the subsurface uh, effect. Uh, but as you can see, the effect is not uh, 
as nice as uh, for the first one and this is just a byproduct of how the rendering is working with uh, double-sided materials when the render normals are uh, set to uh, same so the same lighting is applied for the uh, front faces and for the uh, back faces if you are using seasons uh, and snow you might want to globally reduce the subsurface effect a bit because uh, the subsurface effect is not occluded by the snow and it is uh, passing through which is not super uh, realistic so you can go to the global control and reduce the uh, subsurface effect uh, globally one thing to note there are uh, no elements to control the subsurface in tv the last thing i want to show you is the diffusion profile in hdrp so unlike uh, the built-in render pipeline or uh, urp HDRP is using a more physically based uh, subsurface scattering effect and it is using uh, a diffusion uh, profile. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, how to set up the, the settings so uh, better check the documentation uh, on the HDRP uh, page. But uh, what I want to show you is that in some cases you will see a green uh, tinting. If I change uh, the subsurface diffusion to something else, you will see this uh, green uh, tinting. And in order to fix it, all you need to do is to select the materials, uh, the material, and uh, press the fix button. The fix button, uh, all it does is is to uh, add that diffusion profile uh, to the uh, HDRP default settings under the uh, diffusion uh, profiles. If I uh, remove this diffusion profile uh, from the list, the green uh, shading is back. So that's it regarding the subsurface effect. Quite a uh, short video on this one, ignoring the fact that uh, I recorded for a few hours because uh, my brain is not functioning today. The asset I was uh, using today is from the Alien Force Pack by uh, manufacture K4 uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, make sure to check it out and thanks again for watching.